Thank you for considering the AQA Art, Craft and Design GCSE course. This particular course promotes learning across a wide variety of different experiences and through lots of different processes, various tools, techniques, different materials, lots of starting points and resources to generate really a wide range of evidence that you can work and produce things, uh, what we call outcomes on this course. Uh, this question, do I have to take art GCSE if I want to do A-level? Well, it makes a lot of sense to study the subject at GCSE, where there will be a, a very thorough grounding in drawing, painting, some sculpture, a little bit about uh, lens and light-based media, photography, moving image, and learning about different artists, for example, installation artists. Um, it is possible through an, a student's individual passions for the subject that they can do these things in spare time but the course will give a very good grounding for those who want to go on to do the subject in more detail at college or with ourselves in post 16 to do a levels and then to take it further should students want to There are lots of studies that show how participating in the arts can help to make connections with other cultures, people from different backgrounds, to, to, to find out about why artists do what they do, and what is it that makes artists tick. And that helps us to establish and understand ourselves as artists, um, how we enrich our own lives through learning about the work of others. It's a great way to connect and become expressive, and to, to think creatively. It's a great way to build and grow confidence and a self -less sense a sense of self identity and well being. Despite huge disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the United Kingdom's creative industries uh, covering architecture, advertising, uh, fashion, film, music, media, museums, publishing, graphic design, technology, still boast a range of interesting and exciting careers. In fact, it's growing year on year. The UK's creative industries have contributed roughly 115 billion to the economy in 2019 alone. This is according to the Department of Digital Culture, Media and Sport. It's an increase on 2010 by nearly half, nearly 50% increase. And it means the sector makes up just under 6% of our economy as a whole. Even more importantly, more than 2 million people were found to work in the creative industries and that number continues to grow. Up a third since 2011, these figures demonstrate this has become a vibrant, sector with lots of opportunities for careers both through apprenticeships and graduate careers. The way that we structure the AQA GCSE is through two projects. The first project is a natural form and the second project is a deconstruction reconstruction project giving us ample opportunity to work in three dimensions and two dimensions to do some graphics, fine art, drawing, painting, sculpture some installation work, but to really develop our skills with surface, line, colour, pattern, shape, tone. Now those two projects come to 60% of the overall grade at GCSE and the final project is 
an externally set assignment, which will be done in year 11. And that one begins on February the 1st, um, and it's worth 40% of the final grade. And that project will be marked internally, and somebody will come out and mark that, it's called a moderator. Uh, and that 40%, we do that project in 12 weeks. It's quite an intense project in year, year 11. So overall, 100% is all done in school, all through project work. It would be really helpful to have a passion for art and design and, and also to feel that it's a subject that you want to learn to develop your skills in, to learn to communicate through drawing and painting and making, to develop those skills and to learn about the world of others and, and to learn about artists and designers from the past and the present, to, to look at contemporary practice, but also to think about how this connects with the world beyond our own postcodes, how this connects with the world beyond our school and and to have that inquiry and that inquisitiveness to, to want to get better and to find out more those are really important skills to try and have Do talk to your teachers, uh, either myself, Miss Wildman or Miss Wilson. You could come down at break time or lunch time when we're not on duty and to ask questions about the course. We can show you some sketchbooks and we can show you previous work that has been done uh, by students going back any number of years. We've got lots of examples of projects, but what we're ultimately looking to do is to develop you as an artist, to make connections with what inspires and interests you. So come down and talk to us. Let us know what your interests are. Let us know. Why are you thinking of taking the course? And we can talk to you all about that. We look forward to seeing you.